All right, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, of course, I want to start off by giving all praise uh, unto Yahweh, uh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh who the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And this is just going to be a, um, I guess we could say a little spiritual flow for lack of better words, man. Okay, you know, one topic I had on mine I wanted to bring up, man, as I remember, I was on, um, you know, a live stream with some of the, you know, the regular guys, you know, we let on the show. Some of the regular, you know, brothers that we bring on. But there is one guy who joined the show and he basically said something. And I'm not quoting him word by word, but he basically said something to the effect, you know, that, um, you know, well, they could use, you know, this, um, this alien blue beam, you know, to deceive people to think that there's, you know, aliens, you know, coming. And, and I responded as like, well, wait a second. But why would they, what would be the need to do that if everybody already knows, well, supposedly knows that these are, are all aliens, right? That these UFOs are all aliens. So what good would it do for them to make a deception like that if everybody is already deceived to believe that? That would be as ridiculous as saying that there's a, you know, everyone's, the elite are trying to get everyone to believe that Jesus is a Caucasian. It's like, well, wait a second. Almost everybody believes that in the first place. You ask somebody, what does Jesus look like? 98% of people, you know, they'll describe to you, you know, this um, this figure, right? Cesare Bozier, right? Or Serapis Christus, you know, this uh, this man, you know, that, that everyone thinks is Jesus today. That's who they'll, you know, think about and describe. But yet the Bible clearly tells you what Christ looks like. Revelation 1.14, right? His head and his hair, they were white like wool. It says, and his feet were like in the fine brass, as if it burned in the furnace, right? So his hair, right, his facial hair, his beard and mustache, right, as well as, you know, hair on his head are white, right, in a woolish texture. Um, and his feet are, are brown, right, black, right? And obviously, the rest of his body is going to be the same color as his feet, Right. So by that scripture, we know that the Christ is a so-called Negro, right? A so-called black man, according to the um, according to the scriptures, right? So if I was to make a statement and say, well, they're going to deceive people to to believe that Christ is white. It's like, well, wait a second. How, how does that make logical sense if everyone already believes that? It would be as ridiculous as saying, well, they're going to come up with a deception to teach everyone or convince everyone that the world's a spinning ball in space. It's like, well, wait a second. Everyone already believes that. So why would they need a deception? Because everyone already knows that. Well, supposedly knows. Um, but that's a real question. Right? That is a real question. Right? What would be the point of such a deception if everyone already believes that? That would be like... Oh, let's see. What could I say? Um... You know, that's enough examples to give, man. You know, it's like, what the hell is this guy talking about? As far as the Project Blue Beam goes, man, you know, we don't deny that, you know, maybe the elites of the world, you know, might have technology where they can depict a, um, a hologram into the sky, right? We know that they have that type of technology. Just like if you remember back in school, um, they had a projector, right, which would project um, from a computer, um, it can project an image onto a bigger screen, right? So we know they have the technology to, you know, project an image somewhere. Right, we know that, right? That's nothing new. But um, to come out and say they're going to make some type of deception where they, you know, make UFOs appear... To deceive people. I, I don't buy that. Right? I don't buy that. Because first of all. We know that these UFOs. Are actually the chariots of the most high. Right. So when everyone sees these UFOs. You know. Everyone's already going to be convinced. You know. Those are. um, You know. Little green men. From another planet. You know. Coming to invade Earth. You know. As far as these conspiracy guys go. Right. They'll all be on that. Right. Or either. They'll teach that it's an. You know. Government psyop would be teaching that it's, you know, aliens coming to deceive, you know, the public or, you know, Christians, right? Religious people be on there talking about that, um, you know, that that's all oh, well, that's Satan and his angels, right? Coming to deceive the world, 
right? And bringing the false Messiah down is what these Christians teach. And I know because I've listened to their, um, you know, what they teach about the subject. You ask a religious person, you know, what about UFOs? You know, and they'll tell you, oh, that's, you know, either a hoax or they'll tell you that it's, um, you know, the fallen ones, right? The fallen angels, right? The demonic angels are in the UFOs. You ask them, okay, well, what verse in the Bible says that? I guarantee you they can't give you an answer. Right? They don't, they don't really know. You know, they don't really have an answer to that question. It's like, okay, like there was one brother who made a statement that said he believes that, you know, the, the UFOs are the chariots of God. But then he also said that the fallen ones, right, you know, these fallen angels, which is what he was saying, um, you know, or demons, for lack of better words. All right, he was saying that they also have chariots. And um, my question to that, brother, would be, well, what Bible verse can you use to show me that? Like, what verse in the Bible says that demons have UFOs to fly around and have chariots? I haven't seen one. And again, I've read the Bible twice front to back. So I haven't, I have not seen that in there. Now, somebody can show me in the comment section. If there's a verse that says that, you're welcome to post it down there and I'll read it. But I haven't seen that. The only place I've seen in the Bible where it describes chariots, it's either referring to a man's chariot, right? A, a chariot, um that has two wheels being pulled by a, you know, a horse or horses, or to represent the chariots of the Most High, right? The vehicles of the Lord. Those are the only times chariots are mentioned in the Bible. They either mean one of two things. They either mean a, um, you know, an ancient wagon that would be pulled by horses, right? That would be called a chariot. Or, it means these so-called UFOs. Those are the only times that chariots are used in the Bible. Those are the only two meanings that the word chariot in the Bible has. Is either the ancient chariots that the Egyptians had, for an example, or the UFOs. There are no other meanings for those words in the Bible other than those two examples. Okay, so, you know, as I said, man, you know, everyone out here thinks they know something. You know, everyone out here thinks they got the truth, but we're going to find out that's not true, man. Okay, because look, when, when everyone sees these UFOs in the sky, you know, everyone was conditioned to either believe that they're demonic or to believe that they're, um, you know, little green men from another planet coming to invade the Earth. So that's what everyone's going to believe when they see this, and they show you this in these Hollywood movies. I'll give an example. If you go to... um. Oh, what is that? The fifth wave, right? It's in the fifth wave. It's in Independence Day. It's in, um, what is that? It's in, uh, what's the other movie? The, the War of the Worlds, right? I mean, there's other examples you could give, you know, of other alien movies out here. But those are a good handful, man, right? Those are a good handful of movies that depict these UFOs, man. And that's only the tip of the iceberg of all the others out there. But those are a couple you can watch, right? That show you these UFOs, right? And there's always, um, they're always depicted. Excuse the background noise. They're always depicted as, um, you know, these aliens, these and for these, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, you know, alien invaders from another galaxy or planet, you know, coming to take the Earth as their own, right? So everybody has underwent, you know, conditioning, you know, to believe. That when they see these UFOs, you know, those are either demonic, which is what the religious community teaches. The conspiracy guys, which believe that they're, you know, government technology that's secret. Or the average peon in the world that don't know what's going on, who believes that those are little green men from another planet. So whatever one of those theories you believe in, you're incorrect. So you're going to be deceived when you see these, because what they really are is actually the Lord and his angels. Right, these crafts right here, the UFOs, that's what the elect's going to be taken away on, man. Right, those UFOs, and they show you this, oh, what's that one movie? Mind of God, put that in the comment section. The the one where Russian Vid speaks about how they show the UFOs coming down and beaming people up into them. I don't know the, the, uh, the movie off the top of the head, but um, 
there's certain movies out there where they'll show you, like these UFOs, they come down and they gather people, they beam them up into the UFO, right? So they're really showing you that that's what the rapture is going to be, right? The UFOs are going to come down here. They're going to beam people up into them and save them from the calamity, right? Save them from the destruction, you know, that's, that's going to be brought by these UFOs. And you can read, what is that? Isaiah the 66th chapter, 15 verse, that says, For the Lord will come with his chariots like a whirlwind, and will render his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. Right? And it says that the slain of the Lord will be many. Right? So, you know, these UFOs, man, you know, they're going to be redeeming people. They're going to be beaming people up into them, which is what? The elect and the remnant. But everyone else, they're going to get zapped, man. Right? They're going to get, you know, destroyed, for lack of better words. They're going to get, you know, hit by that fire, man, which comes from those chariots. And they show you in these movies, man. Hey, look, these Hollywood makers of these movies, they know what's up, man. Matter of fact, I'll give an example. If you ever watched, um, what is that, the original uh, Planet of the Apes movie, which give that movie a watch. It's a very good movie. But um, here's the thing, though. At the end of the movie, there's this place that's called the Forbidden Zone, right? Which it turns out, which I don't want to spoil the movie. So you can skip ahead a minute or two if you don't, if you want to go watch it. Um, but there's a part of the movie where they go to what's called the Forbidden Zone, right? And in the Forbidden Zone, we find out that the planet he's on is actually the Earth. And where he's at is was formerly known as New York City because you see the Statue of Liberty, you know, sticking up out of the sand, right? So America was destroyed by a nuclear war, you know, before that scene in the movie. Okay, they don't show you that, but that's what happened to it, you know, in the past. And when you watch the movie, that's why now they call it their forbidden zone where you're not allowed to go in that area. But here's the thing about it, and a lot of people don't know this, but if you own the DVD, you can go to the um, to the scene selection, which is where you can pick what scene you want to watch in case you don't want to watch the entire movie and want to skip to a certain part and watch, right? You, you all should know what that is. Um, but the name of the scene where this is taking place, it's called The Revelation. Let me, let me say that again. The name of the scene where America was destroyed was named the revelation you say come on so you're telling me that these makers of these movies are not aware that there's a book called revelation where america's taken down in it come on man these guys are, are making it plain and simple man if you can't see it and you got to be got to be a dumbass man if you can't see it which the word fool means unlearned whereas anyone that can't see it at this point man the hell are you smoking like what's that cat what's this character Right, Mike, right, and his, and his dad pops, right? Sometimes they stop by on our streams. Now, those guys got to be, um, you know, under some type of, you know, good substance, man. These guys got to be smoking something good, you know, for sitting there saying now them, oh, well, you know, if you use the word God or Lord, you know, you're you're using satanic names. It's like, well, wait a second, but but what about the verse that says that, Um, well, what is that? Revelation 19th chapter? says that the Lord is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings. What about that verse, though? And they don't know, right? They, they don't really know. They'll just skip that part. You know, but that's what you're dealing with, man. You know, so, um, you know, there ain't much more to go on, right? I'll, I'll just um, end the lesson off with that. But I just wanted to just talk about that, man, because it's like, hey, look, you know, you, you got to know, man, that uh, these UFOs, or the, you know, chariots that we're going to all be delivered on, man. Okay, so when you see these things in the sky, you know, you shouldn't be afraid of them, right? You should welcome them. Why? Because those are actually the angels of the Lord that are in those chariots, man. And that's why right now you're seeing such a massive, may I say, upheaval in these UFO sightings worldwide, man. Specifically in America, Babylon the Great. And why is that? Because the main deliverance of God's elect are going to be from America. Why? Because that's primarily where the Jews are today. Right? So primarily from America is where 
we're all going to be delivered from, but it is certainly true that you're going to have deliverance all over the world, right? The elect are going to be gathered from all nations. It tells you that in Matthew, the 24th chapter, right? That the Lord's going to send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds of the earth. And they show you that in the, the movie, um, War of the Worlds, right? If you ever saw that movie, man, but you can look up the scene online, right? But when those UFOs first come up, you know, you can hear a massive trumpet go off on the background, man. And then the, the, um, the UFOs start zapping people. And that's really going to happen. That is really going to happen, right? That's in the Bible, man. Those UFOs are going to be coming down here. They're going to be beaming up the Lord's elect. And at the same time as doing that, they're going to, you know, bring these people, you know, <laughs> to an early grave, man. Oh, and if you go to, um, what is that? If you go to Second Ezra, the 16th chapter, which the reason I'm bringing this up is if you watch the movie, when the people get zapped, they got turned to powder, right? They got turned literally to dust. Um, the reason I'm bringing this up is if you read, I believe that second Ezra is the 16th chapter. It says the Lord shall threaten and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder out his presence. Right. So they show you, man, in these movies, they show you, right. They show you. That's why these guys, what is it? Russian vids will tell you, um, you know, truth in movies and lies in the news. And that's true, right? Truth in the movies and lies in the news. That's why in certain movies, They'll make a reference and say that the earth is flat. It's like, wait a second, out of anything you could have said, why, why, what was the point of making that joke? Is it because, is it um, excuse me, is it because, or because, may I say, to say it correctly, could it be because they're trying to show you something? You know what I'm saying? Um, right, but then there'll be lies in the news. Especially with everything going on right now. That's a whole other video in and of itself. We really, really can't even speak about those subjects anymore. Um, but anyway, you know, hope that video was edifying. If anybody made it to the end, go ahead and put hashtag UFO in the in the comment section. I'm gonna say shalom.